Hey, this is Rodney Ho with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. I'm here with Dimitri McKinney. You might know her from uh, Tyler Perry's House of Pain. She managed to maintain her dignity during the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, you know, you, you might have seen her as Winnie Houston recently in the TV One movie, Bobby C Christina. And she's on two different TV shows as series regulars. And we are promoting right now one of them. Uh, yes. T tell us a little bit about what you are promoting right now. Just... Wow. We are promoting the third season of Saints and Sinners, which airs April 8th. So make sure that you are tuned yeah. in. Thank Bounce you TV. We're Bounce in the studios TV. of Bounce TV right yeah, now. Yeah. And uh, congratulations on, on this role. What do, you, what do you particularly like about Tamara, I mean, and, and, and just getting to sort of play somebody a little bit off her rocker? <laughs> wow. So Tamara was actually an organically added character. She wasn't supposed to be anything of, of substance. You know, she was kind of supposed to be there, do three episodes, get out the way. And because of the dynamic that they felt they could bring with her character, which was something I think a lot of women can relate to, she's definitely grown and grown and grown. And Tam, the first two seasons, was always kind of the sheep amongst the wolves in the, the big scheme of the Saints and Sinners. But this season... Yeah, what's going on in her brain right now? What's happening? <laughs> that thing has switched, okay? She is completely done. She's completely tired. The circumstances that ended season two have really taken a toll in a way that when y'all see this outfit and when y'all see the end of the show, you will understand exactly why I picked this. She's going to uh, be hugging herself a lot. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> so it's going to be funny eight episodes here? It's a... Uh... <laughs> it's a lot. It's definitely a journey. You know, I can say Tamara has grown a lot. You get to see a lot more of the layers to her, the dimensions to each of the characters has kind of shifted in a way that I don't think people expected. The people you just knew were bad ain't so bad after all. The humanity really starts to peek through in all of these characters. So I think you're in for a really, really cool ride. Yeah, we just uh, we we spent a lot of time uh, recently just talking to Clifton Powell and his, his character and what what's kind of your take on him because he he strikes me as wow what what, what a guy I mean. he's so much in all of the great ways you know he puts his all into each role that he is going to be if he is a preacher you gonna get saved if he is a bad guy you swear you're next I mean it's just it's just that intense with him he's a very intense being generally but intense in a kind way. So, so to see him play Rex the way that he has and to see the dynamic kind of shift to this softer, this family, this, all right, let's help each other. Let's love a little bit. Let me be a bit more vulnerable. That's a space I've never really seen Rex in before. So it's really cool to see that now. And you are also doing, you know, your, your album came out last year, it, yeah. got, it was very well received. I Thank mean, so you. it seems like things are working on multiple levels for you right now, right? It's also, <laughs> sometimes it just all comes together, right? It just yeah, hard work, perseverance, you know, um, we wrapped with this along the same time as I was starting Set It Off, which is on tour right now as well, so you know. Oh yeah, tell us a bit about that. That's been a lot of fun. Big shouts to my girl, Brad, Kyla Pratt, Latoya Luckett, Jacarius Johnson Presents, Set It Off, the live stage play, which has been received so very well. We How many Houston cities have you hit so far? So far we've only done two. We started here in Atlanta, we did DC, and we've been sold out. We hit That's Houston, fun. I leave for that tomorrow. But we were filming this, the tail end of this, while we were in rehearsals for that. So it was just so much going on all at the same do, time. Do you it's like doing writing. plays uh, versus, uh, you know, film obviously different mediums, but what, what is it about I play, plays? I love it all. Enjoy? The instant gratification is kind of dope. You get to see what is working, what people like, what they don't like, you know. And right now, right now is the most important part of stage. You know, if something's going on, you got to adjust to it. If I come out and I got toilet paper on my shoe, honey, I better figure out a way to make that part of the storyline. If there's a note that's off, if somebody forgot something, there's always that moment of you really have to lean, you really have to be ready, and you really have to give it every single day. There is no duo. How many cities are you guys hitting? This, this, oh, my gosh. I think we had like 12. 12 cities. Yeah. So it's all spring, right? So what, all spring. what's the summer plans for you right now? Summer plans include a little something that I won't get into too much. Oh, is it a, is it related to your music career or is it more your acting career? It's, oh, somewhere it's, else completely. It's somewhere else completely. Oh. I'm definitely back in the studio recording and getting that thing going, but some personal stuff is really about to start changing in my life. I hope in a good way. I'm so very happy about it. Yes. Yeah, that's excellent. Thank By you. the way, I saw you open for Fantasia back in December at City Winery. Oh. Hello, Fanny. I hope she sees this. I know. I, I got a chance to perform with her on her whole Christmas tour. It was That's just me awesome. and her, which is rare. You know, coming from that Real Housewives of Atlanta, girls don't always click up like that. That's so y'all know it can be very dramatic. 
But when well, I she say... She did reality TV to herself. She, yeah, one. man. Fantasia for real. But, you know, she came in and she was just so loving. <laughs> She's so, That's so great. dope. Like, I absolutely adore her. We still keep in touch very closely. Now, how now. did that hookup happen, anyway? Oh, you... my goodness. Um, I've been touring with, with several people. Really, no girls, though. You know, everybody mm -hmm. from um, R. Kelly to doing some stuff with Charlie Wilson, Johnny Gill, Raheem Devon, Roe James. You know, but getting on with another female was really, really difficult. And she has a say in who comes on tour with her. So when they suggested me, she was like, yeah, I, lo I love her voice. She's so, you know, she was so sweet. <laughs> so she she definitely co-signed and brought me in and she's like a sister to me. That's wonderful. You're also on Mary Von People's show, Superstition, which was shot here as well. Yeah. How did that go? And is there a second season coming or do you know anything yet? We are still waiting to hear back on that. Okay. Um, I know that there is some stuff possibly brewing over with Netflix as well. So y'all write in, oh, let them know Netflix. what y'all want to happen. Let That's them the know. Big, that's the big kahuna. Oh my gosh. But you know, working with Mar Van Peebles, Robin Lee, Brad James, Tatiana, like everybody was just so, so great. Um, coming yeah, into You're crossing that, paths with some big shots here. I mean, you? yeah, like I'm, I'm uh, having fun. Like, I know. <laughs> that was a very different role, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very authoritative, you know, but but still very close to home. You know, um, I've been a single mother the whole time. I've been a mother, that's so weird to say. I've always been a single mother. So Mae Westbrook, who is the, the character I yeah. play in Superstition, being a single mom, still being about her business, finding love, figuring those things out is a dynamic that I hadn't explored in that way. So it was really cool. Along with Very doing personal. my own stunts, along with getting into the supernatural realm, you know, because I mean, I used to watch like Charmed or um, what's that, that movie, uh, The Craft. You know, I used to watch all of that stuff and it was really, really intriguing, but I never got an opportunity to be a part of it. So I got a chance for the, the best of both worlds to collide. That is just a lot of stuff going on. So <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. And, uh, you know, being in Atlanta, too, a lot of your work has happened here in Atlanta as well. So you All haven't had to do, you, know, you you get to see your, you don't have to fly your child somewhere else or anywhere else. You no. Just, you and I mean, home. it's been since he was like three. So now that he's 19 and driving and looking for a job. Yeah. He needs a job. So any, uh, any, any, uh, tips for him right now or <laughs> go hustle <laughs> he's always been exposed to the the real side of life he knew when i was living in the projects he knew when i was homeless he knew when we needed to not spend on this because we had to do for that so he understands the dynamic of what a true hustle is and and now he gets to see some of the payback from it. well congratulations demetria we're going to see you as uh tamara on sunday at yes. Saints and yes. season three at uh, nine o'clock they're going to run a whole marathon of season two right and lead yes. you right and into season it. one and season the one day the day before, before. Mm -hmm. yeah so people who haven't watched it you can just play catch up and uh, i guess brownsugar.com also has it on demand if Absolutely. you want to check it out there but well, thank you so much demetria thank you good luck Bye. it's rodney ho with the atlanta journal constitution